So this is something really new, ladies and gentlemen. So look, I invented this specially for you. So what you do is take a picture and scratch it and smell it. <laughs> I am a renowned Dutch tattoo artist. I've been tattooed for about 40 years. Tattooed a lot of very famous people. Uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Pearl Jam and Lemmy from Motorhead. And an ink master, that's what I am. <laughs> so if you want to communicate love, you communicate with a rose or with a heart. The rose is probably the most tattooed symbol there is. And this is what tattooing is, is all about. It tells a tale and it communicates as simple as possible. It's, it's a folk art. I'm a poor man's Rembrandt. I started in this industry because I just fell in love with the subject. I was a, a, a young boy working for the Bijenkorf, which is the big department store in Amsterdam, at the advertisement agency. And during the lunch break, I would always go and visit my friend Tattoo Peter uh, in the red light district, who was a tattoo artist with one leg in a little basement, exactly how it used to look like, a little really piratish. And uh, uh, I liked it. I liked the simplicity of the designs. I have a graphic background. So I like the, how, 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 do you, how these things read. Something of, of the unflawedness of nature is, is good. We should not uh, uh, manipulate uh, flowers and plants too much until we have an apple that size, or we have a rose which stays with us for a month. Stuff has to die. Stuff has to be in a, in a circle. Otherwise, you might as well have plastic flowers. Obviously, wordless little things are very valuable because they, they are able to tell a big story. And this is with, very much with flowers as well. 